Now in geometry of complex numbers, there is something called as inverse points with respect to a circle. Now if we have a circle with center O and radius rho, so we have a circle whose center is at O and its radius is rho, then P and Q are said to be inverse with respect to circle if O, P and Q they are collinear. So these three points O, P and Q they must be collinear on the same side of O and O, P into O, Q it must be equal to rho square. So that is the definition of inverse points with respect to a circle. Now say for example, we are given that C is the center of a given circle Z minus C equals R. So we have this circle whose center is at C and radius is R. Now it says A is a point represented by complex number A inside the circle and B is a point represented by complex number B outside the circle. So we have two points A and B. One of them, it lies inside the circle and it is represented by A and this is represented by B. And it says CA into CB, it is equal to R square. That means A and B are inverse points with respect to each other. Now we need to show that B equals C plus R square upon A bar minus C bar. Now we have two points A and B. Suppose C A is M and C B is N and we are given that C A into C B is R square. That means M into N is R square. Now this distance is N minus M. So from here we can write A equals M B plus N minus M C upon n. Now we can write n a equals m b plus n minus m c. We can also write this as n a equals n c plus m into b minus c or we can write b equals c plus n by m into a minus c. Now we can write n as r square by m. So we can write this as b equals c plus now will be r square by m square into a minus c. Now what's m? m is distance between a c. So we can write m as mod a minus c. So it will be b equals c plus r square a minus c and m square is mod of a minus c square. So there will be a minus c into a bar minus c bar. I will cancel. From here we can write b equals c plus r square upon a bar minus c bar and this is what we need to prove.